Hey, Ken Silvestri, Broadway Limited Imports. Summertime's waning, autumn's approaching. Labor Day, my anniversary, Thanksgiving, Pearl Harbor Day, Christmas, New Year's. It's all part of my favorite season, train season. And what we have to do now is start getting those layouts ready for our holiday visitors. And Broadway has some motivation for you. Motivation number one, the Paragon 4, the Bulletproof Paragon 4, EMD, GP35, and HO. The GP35 is a nifty little four-axle diesel built in the 1960s, and over 1,300 were built for the U.S., Canada, and Mexico, and there were about 2,500 horsepower. As we scroll the pictures of the GP35, please employ a modeler's eye to see all the detail. Curtis is going to list the detail for you. Hey everybody, Curtis here. We're going to go through really quickly the GP35 road specific details on each of these examples we have here. We've got the truck side frames, dynamic brake hatch, the open and closed type of fans. We got the short hood detail arrangement per prototype the long hood and detail arrangement per the prototype. We've also got high hood and short hood options where accurate. We've got horn type and bell locations. We got multiple front and rear pilot types, accurate cut lever types, MU receptacle arrangements on both the front and back of the locomotives. We got multiple sunshade options, the antenna types and location, and the wind deflector types as well. And all these details are available in our stealth models as well. Motivator number two, the Paragon 4, very reliable, GE AC 6000 in end scale. These were built from 1995 to 2001, and they were built mostly for the, the CSX and the UP. Their horsepower ranged somewhere between 44 to 6,000 horsepower. Hey everybody, Curtis here, back with some more details of these AC6000 locomotives for end scales. We've got a lot of individually controlled lights on these locomotives for end scalers. We've got, of course, the headlight, the front and rear. We've got the cab light. You can also control the number board lights and the ditch lights, all using our Paragon 4 ultra-reliable end scale DCC sound decoders. Fun fact, in Australia, eight AC6000s set the world record for hauling 109,938 tons, 682 cars, 171 miles. This, ex this extraordinary train stretched over 4.5 miles, and as of 2023, this record still stands. The third and last motivator of the video. And that would be the Paragon 4 GE ES44 in end scale. Built between 2002 and 2019, and over 8,000 of these units have been built. That's just remarkable. And they're everywhere. All the railroads have them. A lot of different features on these locomotives. We've got die cast chassis, which help even the weight distributively throughout the locomotive, which also adds to more pulling power. So you'll be able to have a prototypically accurate length of freight train behind these locomotives. 
Um, all wheels have electrical pickup with that Paragon 4 electronics. They're robust. They're ultra-reliable. You're going to love these on your railroad. Um, the details on these locomotives are remarkable. The grab irons, the horn castings, the bell, the roof antennas, the dynamic brake hatches. It's a great locomotive for your N-scale railroad. These locomotives will operate on code 55, 70, and 80 rail, and the minimum radius is 9 inches. Also, these locomotives have some really great paint schemes in this run, including the first CSX N-Scale Heritage Unit in N-Scale. We've also got the St. John's Express locomotive, never been before offered in N-Scale, coming to you in stores. And these are in stores now, so you can go ahead and pick them up from your favorite dealer today. Okay, now consider yourselves motivated. Remember, we want to knock the socks off of the people that come and see our our displays this year. And we spoke about the AC6000 and the 4.5 miles long train. And if you'd like to replicate that at home, an HO that would take 272 feet of track and an end scale only 148 and a half feet. There you go. So until next time, thank you very much and happy railroading.